Okie dokie, we're back on a uh, plot. Uh, to, to do this 12-hour build challenge, uh, I know I said I was gonna do a 24-hour build challenge, but you know what 12-hour challenge is gonna have to do because I, can, I, I don't even know if I can do 24 hours, much less 12. Now, you might not think this is a challenge at all, and it, it kind of isn't a challenge, but like when you're forced to build for 12 hours, it becomes a very difficult challenge. And uh, as of now, I don't think anyone's actually done a 12-hour build challenge. Of course, people have worked for 12 hours but i mean a month back i made this one building a building a house in one hour in bloxburg and, and that did pretty good but anyways i'm going straight into this uh without any planning so i'm really curious to see how this is gonna turn out but anyways let's get straight into it okay so the first thing i want to do is mark out where the center is so that way i know if it's not too far into the middle but i also don't want it too far off to the front so uh i guess we're gonna start our build probably around this air general area and since it's only 12 hours and not the 24 hours house uh i won't have to try too hard yet but i do have 12 hours so i should probably make use of that time i think the style that i'm gonna try and go for is probably gonna be somewhat of a craftsman style i don't know if you guys know what that is neither do i but like <laughs> uh i have a general idea of what i want to do so i'm just gonna try and plop something down and hopefully that works also if you do see the timer go down really quick it's probably because i'm focusing on building but i might cut from segment to segment i honestly have no idea how i want to go about doing this so i'm just gonna continue to yolo it and hopefully it turns out looking pretty decent at the end okay i might <laughs> i might go overboard with the pillars around here but yeah we're just gonna deal with it honestly i feel like this entryway is a bit too large so i'm just gonna shorten it down to like maybe two or is that not enough like for a 12 our house how big should i make this yeah no never mind maybe we're just gonna go with the three okay this might still be too many pillars um how do i do this okay i guess this works maybe sort of see what i want to do at the front is bring out a roof that goes like right around here hold on let me let me try and draw it out for you like that but i also don't want to just use this roof i'm gonna use basic shapes of course because i have 12 hours to do this honestly i might take longer to to just do the outside than the inside considering that i have 12 hours i should probably take my time on the outside and guess what we're going with the classic windows once again what a surprise what i do want to do with the windows this time though is make it kind of different but then again like they're the same like i just want to add more features onto the windows instead of just putting you know the the, the lines through it so like some windows could be open and i could try to challenge myself like that Eh, whatever we'll see and of course i'll be using every single game pass to my advantage because uh 12 hours how am i supposed to build something for 12 hours and not use every single game pass okay that looks like a pretty decent window i'm just gonna copy and paste that all over the place now oh wait no i forgot the other side of the window i have to i have to get the trim onto the other side maximum effort maximum detail i think i'm gonna start with my first other window of of the build and that's gonna be like a skinnier version of this one to the left so basically all you have to do is copy and paste whatever i did over there over to this don't know if i'll like that but we're just gonna leave that for now honestly i might make it just a three wide don't worry i didn't delete the window it's over there as you can see 10 minutes have already passed and i'm still working on the inside wait no did i say inside no i meant outside i feel like i'm gonna finish this way before the timer ends honestly the coloring part might take the longest okay now the question is how detailed do i want the windows to be like do i want to put like a little ledge on the outside boom ledge uh does the ledge look good let me know what you think i'll just leave it there for now we're gonna come in with the roof for the balcony out at the front and i'm not gonna make the little porch area too high just maybe like one tile or one little segment higher just so i don't have to fidget with the door too much on the inside because you know it, it it's a different layer and then we just make these two concrete and that's pretty much it for the porch i mean i guess we could put like a basic shape here for a step or something okie dokie let's continue for the outside i feel like i'm gonna spend a lot of time on the outside and that's probably for the gardening and whatnot you know i love my gardening yeah not too shabby and then around that we can obviously work on it but for now i'm just gonna make a little path that goes off to the side okay i should probably get started on the second floor of the build or like the main roof structure because i feel like that would start helping it come together a little more than it is now for now i'm just gonna go a little ham with the windows maybe put two there on each side and that looks 
that's about right. What's cool about these windows is that they actually look like real windows. As you can see, like there's a trim on both sides. I don't know, just something I thought I'd point out. I mean, you can kind of see what I'm going for right now. If I put in like the second floor things. Oh, yeah. I feel like if I want to make this like the best house I can make in 12 hours, I'm gonna have to make the second floor accessible. Okay, I'm gonna start with a third different custom window because, you know, variety up here. And then we're just gonna go with something simple. But then again, you know, my builds are never simple. So yeah, bear with me. When I say something simple, it probably is simple. Just like simple on my terms. <laughs> Okie dokie. So you're probably gonna see me speed up the build a bunch of times in this video. And I hope you guys understand I am not editing 12 hours of raw footage into what's probably gonna be an hour video. So yeah, for most parts, I'm either gonna cut to like the finished product or speed things up. As you can see right now, I'm just building the exterior of the house. But if you do want to see like a full speed build, I'll probably put all the clips together and hopefully I can I can make that into a video on my second channel. But yeah, I'm just gonna comment on as many things as possible as you guys watch me speed through this. Oh my gosh. I still get PTSD from looking at that timer go down. You're also gonna realize that in a lot of these clips, I forget to even start the timer when I come back to work on this. <laughs> um, so just bear with me. I swear it's been 12 hours, maybe less, but like it's in that area. But anyways, I've fast forwarded a bit into into like 30 minutes into the future, and I've started working on the roof. I've added these overhangs and stuff, some wall trims, made that white, and then I also added some wooden supports under the roofs. Uh, I tried to make an overhang as best as possible i even tried playing around with the colors as you can see with the uh, with the wall trim i don't know something different from my usual normal white and gray and very basic stuff i mean <laughs> nothing's really different this time around either it's literally just gray and blue this time uh but it did turn out well in the end so I'm happy with what I made. Okay, so it's been just a little over an hour and 30 minutes, and I've got pretty much the entirety of the front side finished, and some of the some of the front entrance as well. As you can see, I've added some gardening, and I've changed the trash can, which I never do. I've just been playing around with the lighting, and I have no idea what I really want to do, but I put four lamps out at the front anyways, just for now, see how that goes. But yeah, I'm just going to continue with most of the gardening, and that should be it for the front side. All right, so back to talking over my video okay here we go with the gardening same thing as always just a little more detail adding some of them spiky plants honestly kind of like the spiky plants i was really contemplating on whether or not i should make like the entire plot spiky plants so that way it would look like real grass but i didn't do that in the end because obviously that would take up way too much time but yeah i just keep it real simple with these bushes and then these rocks and then eventually i add these tulips as well and then maybe in the end i'll, I'll add some trees or something now of course i want to go with some decal plants but then again, I don't know if I really want to do that just yet because there's so much more potential with these random normal trees. Like, it'll make the build fit a lot better. Like, if of course, if I use decals, it'll look a lot more realistic, but I don't know if that's the idea here like the idea here is to make it look good so using what's already in the game might be the best idea i don't know and so i started working on the inside and then for the inside i decided to go special mode and uh yeah i made this custom stair stair railing thing <laughs> i don't even know why i made it i just thought it would be a good idea to waste time on this like i literally could have put a railing on but no i didn't i i, I literally made a custom one with basic shapes but you know what it turned out well in the end so I'm just gonna say everything turned out well in the end and it really did. I'm going insane, man <laughs> Okay, so next thing I kind of got done was the foyer part of the build Uh, so this will be the main part where you enter through obviously Uh, I don't know why I explained that actually But this is just for me to get an idea of what I want to do with the inside and where i'm gonna start from So obviously this is gonna branch off into a bunch of different rooms. This could be the garage and whatnot But ultimately i'm just gonna leave this until probably later into the build where i'm not only two hours in so until that time comes that's probably all i'll do for the inside i have to get the shell of the house done first as you can see we only have the front side of it done so we've got some work to do and here we go again with the basic shapes i don't know what my obsession is with basic shapes but anyways making it a little pop out on the side i don't know if you know what i'm talking about when i say pop out basically what i'm doing right here i'm just being really extra with the plants right now <laughs> i i get i got sidetracked so many times i'd work on one thing and then start working on the other like look i leave this part for like nine minutes and then i come back to it later but 
It's practically the same process that I followed in the luxurious like side home, so you could probably follow that video if you really need to. Oh, Kiroki, and there's our I'm not gonna say simple, uh, but it's it's pretty simple. There's a simple little overhang. Yeah, I'm not sure how to put that. I mean, it wasn't really simple, but at the same time, it was it was pretty simple if you know what I mean. You know, I'm just gonna leave it. This is our <laughs> it's our little stick out part. Anyways, next part of the build. Let's just continue on to the side because I've only got the front done. Hold on, I just gotta. Color this and make it look proper not too bad i mean i feel like i could have recolored these a different color maybe linen honestly linen doesn't look too bad oh wait yeah since this part is basic shapes you can't really put a wall trim on it so i'm gonna have to do this custom as well there's gonna be a lot of custom stuff but then again i do have 12 hours and i've only gone through like three not even three. Oh god all right let me just continue with the house it's looking good so far it's looking good so far now we got the left side done but i kind of don't want to do like the same thing on the other side because you know that's just copy paste so what i'm gonna do for this side is something else i don't know what that something else is though what i do know is that i'm going to repeat whatever i had at the front to the back so this will be four wide this will be three and then i just gotta redo this roof i'm just gonna ignore the fact that these windows cost one thousand one hundred forty five dollars a piece i don't think it's that big of a problem ha 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 i mean i've been grinding grinding for this money for a reason so might as well spend it now i don't know if this is a good idea but like the doors are not aligned here might be a little triggering but maybe it'll be okay probably not i'm just gonna fix it okay let's see what's it looking like for the second floor okay it's not too bad i can work with this this custom railing is gonna be a pain in the butt but i'm gonna do it anyways <laughs> man so many little pillars on the bright side this will be the end of the pillars on uh not the bright side we have more railing to do. Oh god, I've made... <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh gosh, I have to make more railing on this side. Are you kidding me? Why did I do this to myself? I haven't even finished the outside and I'm way too focused on the inside. I guess that's fine. We we went from like the two digit, uh, which we went from two digit time to like one digit time. So we're making progress. We're making progress slowly but surely. I just have no idea how I'm supposed to do this for another nine hours and 48 minutes. Okay, I've outlined a little place for the backyard. I'm just gonna leave it at this, put in the pool for now but i do want to extend that a little more pool is going to be very simple this is going to be like the mid deepish end and then this is going to be the deep end for this really long wall at the back i'm going to use the uh what's it called i'm going to use the open uh custom doors that we usually use in normal builds let me just finish up some of the windows and then i can get started on that okay custom doors at the back how to make a custom door let me show you wall window it opens resize it just a little bit to however you want and then you take your basic shapes and you also fiddle with them and bada bing bada boom it is all complete for these doors i'm just gonna leave them you know normal there's not gonna be any pillars in the middle of them and i honestly think they look good just the way they are okay not too shabby coming along just gonna get the floor done in here and then i think i'm gonna call that it for this part of the recording all right so now we're on to the next part of the recording and i took a little break and and I immediately got right back into working on it. Uh, so right now we're working on the garage and I decided to once again go extra because I have so much time. And I added these little supports at the back of the garage. I thought they would work well. And I did this before in some of my other builds like the Japanese uh, town and, and maybe like another build battle here and there but i actually spent a solid amount of time working on this garage it's probably one of the most detailed ones i've ever done i mean i tried to think of everything that would possibly go into a garage heck i even went into my own garage and looked at the stuff like i put a bunch of lawnmowers wheelbarrows uh i don't know later i'll put gas canisters as well and a, a, a bunch of tables i even make this like winch system for the garage door which was really unnecessary but like i thought it was a good detail but anyways that's the garage and then right after the garage i started working on the main foyer of the house uh i started trying to make some custom bookshelves storage units whatever obviously i had to bring in the plant that i always use in my recent builds and for this storage unit thing i tried to get as creative as possible like as i could with it uh, i ended up 
copying and pasting it throughout the entire house though so that might have been a bit of a problem but in the end this was a very simple room to work on and i actually enjoyed working on it for the most part at least until it got later into the video uh i started giving up uh but after that i started working on the living room and the living room is probably one of my favorite rooms in the entire house probably because it's different from the rest as is, you'll, you'll probably see when i start coloring things i also tried the hardest on this room but i feel like i've said that for every single one of my rooms at the same time <laughs> but i really like how the couches uh, turned out in the end i don't know i spent a bit too much time on the pillows that's for sure but anyways i got to working on the dining room which was next after the living room and once again i copied and pasted a bunch of the elements that i had in the foyer but everything else like the table the chairs i i tried my hardest on them i mean it looks the same as every single one of my builds but like oh and then there's also the stick out part but you don't really notice that from the inside i i, I feel like i even forgot that part existed myself i also tried to incorporate a bit of personality uh as you can see i'm adding some of the paintings on the on the side this was actually inspired by a guy on twitter uh his name's anit roblox i'll probably link his twitter profile in the description later uh so credits go to them anyways back to building i got a bit sidetracked and i started making this little planter for a custom plant because i just decided to make custom plants now honestly it was a bit of a waste of my time because i would end up not using this this for a lot of the rooms but you know it does make an appearance i also spent like an ungodly amount of time looking for decals which was very unnecessary because like i ended up sticking with the first one i chose uh but anyways back to working on the kitchen or continuing the kitchen i don't know if i cut that out actually but i put in a fridge and a stove so the kitchen is partly inspired by infinite i'll also leave his uh socials down in the description below but he makes some pretty good builds so i thought might as well take some inspiration and then i started working on some of my first actually necessary basic shape hacks or whatever uh and i made some like half counters because we don't have half counters or resizable counters in the game and these were very helpful when it came to making the kitchen island and then either side to that stove that's sized weirdly i also started making this weird sink design i i put it on a basic shape and then tried moving it inside the counter island i also had to use my brain cells and start making custom cabinets for the hood because that was also sized weirdly and then to finish it off i added some extra details plates tissues knives cutting blocks and then some paintings and towel hangers anyways once the kitchen was done i started working on this back mud room and i started experimenting with a couple different ideas but some of them didn't work out as you can see with that little sitting area but this room wasn't way too difficult to work on i just copied and pasted a bunch of other stuff as per usual but once that was done i started working on the office which was right next to the mudroom at the back and the office turned out a little more cramped than i thought it would i mean i thought i gave myself a little more space than i had but it's probably the cabinets at the back that made it so cramped i also thought it'd be a good idea to make custom curtains on the on the windows here just to make the room feel a little more different and more perfect personalized to whoever's using the office and then i added some finishing touches like the lamp and then jumping forward in time just a little bit i i recolored some stuff downstairs but i started working on this first bathroom on the second floor and i was still trying to experiment with some of the color choices in this build obviously i have time seven hours remaining but this bathroom is pretty simple just a toilet another sink and then some extra decorations nothing too special didn't spend too much time on this but i did want to you know get everything laid out so i could definitely not copy and paste everything from this room to other bathrooms ha 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 after that i started working on my first bedroom at first i put a double bed down but then i realized that it was a bit too large for the room i don't know i started rearranging how things were laid out in the end i decided that i wanted to have some of the rooms have personality or like i just wanted to make it feel like someone was actually living in this room so then i added like a bunch of instruments and then i decided to add some paintings on the side so so I could change the decals later to album covers so that way it would make it seem like someone who enjoys music lives in this bedroom you'll also see that later on I might not include it in the video but I changed the walls to a different color I think it was red I just felt like there was a bit too much blue in the entire house so might as well change the colors so anyways after that I moved on to a different recording and as you can see here I started working on the second bedroom and then for this one I kind of wanted to make it like a room for the average white girl and I hope that's not offensive and it probably 
probably is. But the goal here was to follow the basic aesthetic trend that usually goes around. In the end, I tried playing with a bunch of different color schemes and a bunch of weird wall poster things in hopes that it would work out and turn out the way I wanted it to. Like I started to realize I was putting in way too much effort into this room specifically. Like compared to all the rest, holy heck, this is a spoiled room. Like it has a whole separate closet and then a luxury bathroom. Uh, I don't start working on that until later but you'll see. Oh yeah, I haven't realized until like I'm actually editing this, but I haven't actually started the timer as you can see in the top right. Still says six hours and six minutes left. So hopefully I do remember to deduct that in the end. But yeah, this room's going according to plan. Everything's very white as you can see. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for that room. And then I start working on the foyer or the second floor foyer. I don't even know what you call that. Oh, I guess it was just a short segment that I put paintings in there. But anyways, starting on the final bedroom i actually really didn't like this bedroom like i lost all of my motivation and i i think i just exhausted all of my ideas so i literally just copied and pasted a bunch of paintings from the first floor just to make it seem like you know the homeowners of this home have a hobby i don't know that way i could continue my personality thing and room thing i don't know if you get what i'm saying but i know i get what i'm saying but the bathroom and the bedroom itself are pretty simple everything's pretty much copied and pasted like i said before from other rooms aside from that i tried to be a little extra and i added this bed frame in the end which didn't take too long but i don't know what it, where i was going with this it just happened and then after tweaking things up for a bit i started working on the final bathroom on the second floor this is the one that's very inconveniently accessible to guests and stuff and then for the final bits of the house i started working on the second floor foyer i have no idea what that is called but if you guys know what that is let me know down in the comment section below and for this part i really had no idea what to put on the walls or even the floor so i just spammed a bunch of paintings and plants and just copied and pasted some couches and tables and whatnot i did try to make it a little more unique but yeah that didn't really go according to plan so i just i just i just skipped that part and then i just kept working on the extra details on the outside as you can see the back isn't finished so i had to go redo that and that's basically what i spent my final like at this point i had no idea what i was doing anymore and i just wanted to add things just so i could get to the end i also decided it was a very good idea to spend copious amounts of money on decals and custom trees at the final moment oh man crazy what 12 hours can do to your brain yeah anyways this was like a last minute impulse move and i thought it really added to the build let me know what you guys think personally i think it's a win maybe not a win-win but it's a win and then once again going in with some useless details i added this little area where you can swing on a tree and then i also added the address sign thing at the front i have no idea what those are called but yeah extra details oh my holy heck okay uh okay 12 hour house done smelling stinky at the top yes oh my gosh my brain hurts from <laughs> working on this for 12 hours not straight but like <laughs> 12 hours is way too much to be spending on a build i actually see decals that are not put in up there so i'm just gonna do those really quick oh kidoki decals all done anyways <laughs> Oh my god, 12 hour house finally complete. I'm actually really happy with how this came out. Uh, a lot more effort was put into this, obviously, because I had to work on this for 12 hours. The craftsman style is probably one of my favorite, uh, up until now at least, but before it was farmhouses, and I think I kind of incorporated some of that into this build as well. But anyways, it's time for the tour. 12 hours of work, all for like, I don't know, 30 seconds of touring. Anyways, all right, from the front, we have our driveway, and we have a nice little sign that says, our, our house number. I don't know if you guys have that in your countries or wherever you're watching from, but we have that where I live, uh, in the suburbs at least. And then on the right, we have our trash can and mailbox. But walking up to the house on our very big driveway, we have a bunch of gardening on either side, nice custom bushes, and these trees cost me a fortune. But, you know, it is what it is. Over here, we just have, like, a random thing I decided to add it in the end. Uh, yeah, not, not much of a purpose for this. It's just here for you to swing, and I, I, I don't know. It's just, like, a little island separate from everything else but let's start from the front or the garage i'm just gonna open the garage so this is the first time i've actually probably decorated a garage uh, at least to the best of my ability we have trash cans every gas cans boxes tissue box table lawnmower wheelchair yeah everything oh wait we even have this like uh uh garage 
thing that pulls the garage thing. Yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm talking about. We have our toolbox over there and then some shelves. But best garage I've ever made, probably. But that's besides the point. The rest of the house is what matters. Up here, we have a nice balcony with a little bench to sit on with a cup of coffee or a cup of cup. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the front balcony. Stepping in, we have our foyer, our staircase going upstairs, some paintings on the left, staggered. And then on the right, we have a little storage area for our clothes, slippers, books, and plants. Uh, I still managed to bring over my ultimate copy and paste skills, as you can see by the plant. There's like one in every single room. Anyways, uh, back here is a little closet for you to put your coats and stuff. That was also copied and pasted. Uh, I could not be bothered. At one point, I got so tired of this build, but uh, I don't know if I should go left or right. I think I'm gonna go left. Left. On the left, we have probably one of the most unique rooms in the home. Probably because it's just painted green. That's why it's unique. There's a bunch of storage around the, around the room, and then you have a TV and a fire place and then you have a little couch almost forgot the tv but we don't talk about that but yeah nice little view of the outside i really love these windows favorite window that i've used in this build but anyways behind that we have our dining room with a bunch of art i don't know why there's a bunch of art don't ask me that i better not see you guys in the comment section commenting that same storage unit copied and pasted uh from the very beginning a uh, nice table with a random mug nice custom plant mirror more comfort stuff and our dining table did i say dining table twice oh well whatever anyway stepping on into our kitchen we have a bunch of custom counters i couldn't use a single pre-built counter i don't know if that makes sense uh because like this is a different this is a weird size and this is also a weird size can't use a full size counter in here because it's so small i think it turned out really well a bunch of decorations on the countertops custom stools i mean it's literally just a stool with a structural unfortunately you probably can't cook anything because there's no actual counters it's a little cramped in here but you know it does the job there's a stove there's a fridge and i actually remember to sink this time so 10 out of 10 points right there anyways we've 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 made a whole loop around the side uh this is our back foyer i don't know what you call that really but it leads out to the backyard our backyard's kind of small for the amount of time i had but yeah i gave up in the end so that's probably why back here we have a nice little sitting area with another fireplace and then two other couches right here and a giant pool i don't know if you can actually call this giant yeah but it's more detailed than normally we have these stairs i actually don't have a ladder on the side or any pool lights so i wish i did add that but anyways we have our custom backyard doors that i completely glanced over yeah those made a return and that's pretty much it for this little room over here but stepping on over to the next room we have an office and this is very blue same with that room and probably a bunch of other rooms upstairs i don't know if you were watching the the very beginning of the video but i, I made everything blue but yeah the office is nice and cluttered with a bunch of books two couches very cramped once again you have a desk and a laptop and then an office chair a bunch of storage behind you and it's pretty simple not gonna lie one thing i did forget uh <laughs> about the first floor was the bathroom uh as you can see there is no bathroom on the first floor so to compensate for that i made like a bunch of bathrooms on the second floor but here i'll show you them one by one here's our second floor uh what do you call this lobby foyer thing whatever nicely decorated with everything copied and pasted from the first floor a bunch of other paintings that i've repeated throughout the build uh but which door to go in first i think we'll go in a loop like one two three four five okay this room over here is a bathroom the first bathroom i made in this house i don't know about the sink color choices but um i'm just gonna leave it now because i can't really change it anymore but it's a very simple bathroom you've got your sink toilet toilet paper i didn't forget toilet paper this time and you got your towels too but that's pretty much it for that room oh, over here you have your first bedroom uh this is a bedroom for the the daughter of the home uh as you can see a bunch of basic white girls forget i said that but yeah i try i tried mimicking that 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 feel in here and i think i did a pretty good job of it because everything is white and there's a bunch of posters and everything i i blessed them with a, a giant closet and a giant bathroom which i probably shouldn't be doing because i'm just spoiling them even more but yeah their bathroom has a bathtub and a toilet and a whole private sink probably shouldn't have uh, laid out the house like this but you know it is what it is and then they have their own closet too yeah once again probably shouldn't have given them that and then over here we have our second bathroom the one that's accessible to any guests that come over which is not very convenient on the second floor but it's got a shower toilet toilet sink and a custom wardrobe over here too anyways moving on to our final two rooms we have 
have the master bedroom that does not feel very master bedroom oh yeah i added these radiator things they actually um uh, turned out pretty well but this this room's supposed to be decorated with a bunch of art because the parents are artists tried to give the room some personality and i think it worked out in the end anyways the bathroom that they have is pretty small compared to the the daughter's room uh it's got a toilet sink and shower instead of a bathtub but anyways moving on to our final room this is for uh the the other child i think it turned out pretty well and and the radiator is copied over as well but that's pretty much it for most of the interior i don't know if i'm missing anything i should probably take a look at the sides of the house just to just to give you an idea of how big it is oh yeah i completely glanced over the fact that i made this custom pop out thing yeah this took ages and i really don't want to redo it because yeah this took ages and it's got a little flaw but i really don't want to redo it because uh that was a lot of work but i'm just gonna leave it there anyways yeah that leads over to the backyard same with the other side the other side on the right isn't as detailed but it, it does the job perfectly fine anyways that's pretty much it for the 12 hour house onto the 24 hour house i don't know this was a little warm up and i still got tired out in the end but let me know what you guys think about this build i think it turned out amazing